Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we're here reporting from the Etsy NFV ISG. Quite a mouthful, it's about the standardization of network functions virtualization. HP claims a leading role in developing the NFV ecosystem and has already introduced some NFV products. NFV uh, phase one uh, has made, you know, uh, good progress. We started, you know, with a small team. Now we have 300 attendees here and we've completed uh, 20 plus uh, specifications. Uh, the SWA specification has been released. It's in the open area along with some others. And uh, we are focusing this week to do consistency review across the specifications. So, yeah, we are almost, uh, you know, there. <laughs> Thanks to the collaboration of, you know, all the teams uh, across industry, so major achievement, we have to, uh, you know, recognize that. The technology is, is key. Um, it's, I mean, what is even more important is the ecosystem, you know, that we are putting together around this uh, new technology and this new business model. And definitely we've proven with the technology and all the different uh, specification according to different use cases, requirements, and the proof of concept that virtualization can be applied to telecommunications. And the next step is gonna be to actually make that real. Well, we've uh, put together a program we call the Open NFV program, and it combines a number of different things. It has an architecture, so we've developed an architecture that um, leverages infrastructure, uh, orchestration layer, uh, the virtual network functions, as well as the ability to get to the cloud using OpenStack. So that architecture not only includes our products, HP's products, but also many products in the industry. So we've created an ecosystem that we'll work within that essentially is based on open standards and open source. We're seeing the transition between phase one of NFV and phase two. Um, and with the phase two comes a proof of uh, concept preparatory to widespread trialing and then eventual commercial deployment and so on. Can you give us some examples of the proofs of content that you've been working on at HP or have been involved with? So as HP we've been working on a number of proof of concepts worldwide. Uh, they range from CPE devices which is virtualized to mobile core subsystems and then again on this axis or edge side from CDN technologies, so control plane applications, virtualized IMS subsystems, uh, Volti subsystem, and again, what we're seeing is widespread POC requirements and, and needs coming from all carriers, everything from uh, you know CP to mobile core to applications, and again, not just from a particular geography, we're seeing interest from APJ, China regions to Europe to America. So I think what we are seeing is interest culminating into doing multiple POCs at time and making sure that the customers feel comfortable with the technology that they are looking to deploy in the next generation networks. What about NFV products then? Um, you recently introduced the NFV director. That's right. Tell us about it and what's coming along in the HP product pipeline. So we get an, uh, that question many times, you know, what are you doing? Are you having VNFs? You know, where are you going into that journey? And uh, from an NFV business unit perspective, we're keeping sort of a neutral stance in there because yes, we do have business units within HP that have their own solutions, be it our CMS business, obviously, uh, you've talked to the colleagues before, you know, they are also the ones that have the NFV director. Yep. Uh, and then we have, you know, the networking team that has solutions because the end controller, VSRs, et cetera. Uh, but from an NFV BU perspective, we really want to make sure that from an ecosystem, we bring in the collaboration, we'll have all the products on the truck so that a carrier can pick and choose what they think is what fits best to them. So we're not out to especially pedal for lack of a better word, our own stuff and say, you know, you only get from us what we have. But the NFV director, as you mentioned, is really at the heart of what we're doing because that man of peace seems to be something really, really important to the carriers. And we have actually been selected by a number of uh, the leading carriers to do proof of concepts with the NFV director because they uh, see and understand that our openness, managing all kinds of VNFs on all different vendors, really having vendor agnostic in there, uh, based on open standards and really doing both the physical and the virtual environments is something that they really like to see. 
uh, and that, that's actually uh, running very well. So the NFB director is certainly something at the heart of our strategy, yet at the same time, if we have customers that are in established relationships with equipment providers that they want to maintain and they want to use their orchestration uh, uh, solutions, we will just fit right into that. Again, open standards, interoperability, that's, that's the name of the game for us. Open is not just a slogan for us, it's actually the way we live it. And with phase one of NFB now nearly over, what part will HP play in phase two? We expect that to be also a big thing. <laughs> we also uh, have uh, some work going on to shape phase two and to start to think about uh, topics. Uh, we have identified uh, some follow-up work um, out of phase one from a number of working groups. Uh, we have new topics also coming from, you know, uh, expanding uh, the, the scope of uh, of phase one in certain areas. Typically, um, I've worked uh, on uh, two work items uh, that are being discussed this week. One is around uh, NAV infrastructure as a service, which is uh, coming out of the fact that with NAV, it opens up new business model and uh, new capabilities. So this is one example of it. And the other one is um, SDN uh, within an NAV framework. Um, since, as you know, we worked very much on phase one on focusing on NAV. We have a few examples of SDN here and there in SWA, in infrastructure, but it's very scattered. And uh, as the industry evolves, it's very clear that there is a need to integrate NAV with SDN, and it's occurring in some SDO and open source. So we really want Etsy NAV to sh shape the requirements and the usage for carrier environment of SD SDN with NFV. So that's the purpose, for instance, of these two work items. Other work items will also uh, be proposed, um, you know, in the coming months. So we'll have, um, you know, lots of work as well in phase two. And uh, we expect, you know, this uh, industry collaboration to, I mean, to also happen in phase two and in a more concrete way with a real, um, integrations and maybe specifications go it going into more detail, maybe more normative and having some interop tests and things which are really driving um, proven implementations into uh, deployment. Going forward, we want to continue that activity. Uh, HP is very committed to network functions virtualization as an opportunity for us in the carrier market. Uh, even Meg Whitman at our last earnings call talked about NFE and what an opportunity it is for HP. So our goal is to continue to invest in this area, both from an R&D perspective as well as from a go-to-market perspective, and really offer choices and open standards-based platforms to the carriers to help them do what they want to do, which is essentially bring flexibility to their infrastructure, and provide services in a very, very timely manner to their customers to be able to compete in the market as it, as it exists today. 